so Patrick, new immigrants come here, they get all the mentorship or they get trained from you or from other uh, agencies. Now they start applying for jobs. And mm -hmm. we all know that they should customize their resume and cover letter. But some people are not used to, and me as a recruiter, I sometimes see resumes that are not related to the job. So mm -hmm. in your experience, what tips you have for people to customize their resume or cover letter? For sure, and, and on, honestly, this type of tip I think works for everybody. It's not just a newcomer coming to Canada. Um, it's really understand the job, mm -hmm. understand what the employer is trying to fill, what need they're trying to fill uh, in, in hiring, and then very clearly demonstrate how you meet those needs. Um, I want someone who can solve my problems, yeah. uh, really. And I think that to take that approach mm -hmm. to a resume, to a cover letter, uh, is really helpful. Um, yeah. It's important to do your research, it's important to understand the context that the company works within, uh, where that position may fit into the organization and the type of role that it uh, truly is. Um, the added challenge for people who may not have sort of grown up in the labor market in Canada yeah. is understanding you know, job titles. Even. Yeah. Uh, so you might be called the same thing in two different countries, but yeah. they may be two very different roles. Yeah. So to be very clear uh, mm -hmm. in your own mind what you're applying for, and, and I go back to a comment I made uh, earlier in one of our conversations around competencies and skills. Yeah. Make sure that you're looking at it through that lens. Yes. That you say, what skills do I bring to the table that solve the needs of the hiring employer? And does the council do a like round table and meet, bring the employer and the new comers so that they have conversation? Do you guys do anything? We do do some uh, work like that. Uh, we have uh, we have a couple of different programs where we bring uh, both to the table. Um, our mentor, sorry, not Mentor Connect, but uh, partly Mentor Connect and partly BC Job Connect and some other work that we do. Uh, we try to get them to the mm -hmm. table at the same time, not necessarily even for job interviews, but just information. Information, interviews. acknowledgement see what, how, what the market or what the employer is looking for in job. Exactly, and we have an ongoing uh, group that uh, meets you know, a few times a year called our employer advisory group. Mm -hmm. And we bring people from various industries in to meet with us mm -hmm. so that we have a better understanding of what it is that they need, mm -hmm. what their concerns are. And then we can bring that message back to the service delivery partners like uh, Success Mosaic mm -hmm. and other really key partners who are doing great work yes. with uh, immigrant talent. Uh, so that we can make that connection so that it's easier for the newcomer yeah. to present themselves in a way that's uh, appealing yeah. to an employer. Yeah. Again, thank you, Patrick, for giving those tips. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of customizing resumes or cover letters, please leave it in the comment section. Again, like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Patrick.